Hi there, so this is basically just going to be some raw, uncut footage of my post 100k uh, recap uh, debut. I ran the Uroc Ultra Race of Champions 100km race three days ago and uh, I'm still recovering. Walking's a chore. Pretty much every muscle in my legs, every tendon hurts, uh, so I've kind of been hobbling around. And as you could see here, if you get grossed out easily, don't look at this, but uh, I got, as usual, um, blew out my big toenail there, and uh, of course the other toenail is gone, but pretty much the tendons on top of my foot here hurt really bad, uh, calves are totally blown out, knees hurt, that's my scar from Chuck and Nut. Um, quads are totally trashed. It really hurts to uh, just go down the stairs. So, I guess, oops, we could talk a little bit about the race. Um, Max King ran an amazing performance. It was also his debut at 62 miles, and he pulled away pretty convincingly. Looked really strong. I couldn't go with him. Uh, it was around 35 miles. We were on this kind of rocky section of the course. I'm not sure if it was part of the Appalachian Trail, but it was kind of rocky and it was a low point in the race for me. Uh, he had about a minute going into the trail and I just had to let him go because I felt so bad. Uh, I actually stopped in there and <laughs> took a little pit stop, which was totally necessary. And that always costs you a minute or so probably. But, uh, you know, overall I was glad I got through it. I didn't really bonk horribly. Um, there were times where I felt nauseous and I thought I was going to throw up, but uh, kind of just rallied on that. And, uh, you know, going in, if, if you read my blog, uh, my blog post, you know, things weren't ideal uh, when I towed the starting line, so I really was kind of worried um, just because of the training volume and my illness after Europe. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was able to, if I was going to be able to go the distance, and with such great competition there, it was going to be. I thought it was going to be hard, so I'm glad I was able to hold on for second place, um, and it it gives me confidence for the future when I do shorter races like 50 miles now. Um, so that's basically that. Um, not much more to say, I guess there. But uh, I guess I'd like to thank my sponsors, uh, Flora Health, for giving me nutritional products now. I uh, got these great dark chocolate truffles uh, with omega fatty acids in them, and they're delicious. And also Udo's Oil uh, comes from them, which is a really nice blend. It's kind of like an olive oil, and it has all sorts of omega fatty acids in it you can mix together in salad dressing or into your drinks. Uh, so really good support there. My new footwear and apparel sponsor, uh, Scott Sports. Uh, let's see if I could find their shoes. I wore this shoe over here. The Race Rocker. You can see there. Um, and that was really nice to have that and uh, getting some apparel from them. Uh, really helps with the support, so pretty excited to represent Scott. And then I have my eyewear sponsor, Smith Optics, always giving me shades uh, to try to look good on the interviews and keep the sun out of my eyes, which is great here in Boulder. It's always a sunny day. Um, and then Drymax socks, which I just uh, took off there, but this is a real thin, lightweight sock. They make a wide variety of socks uh, from thick winter trail running socks to these thinner, more uh, hot weather socks and they keep your feet really dry. I mean, I didn't get any blisters, uh, so that was good, um, besides my, my toenail, but that always happens, so uh, it's to be expected. Um, so overall, you know, your course had a lot of pavement in it, a lot of downhills that really took it out of me, and I think... Uh, it, it helped me and it hurt me because you could run faster on the roads, obviously, but 
not a big fan of downhills, and that was really what hurt early on. I was hurting, and probably about 90 minutes into the race, my calves were uh, already getting stiff, and that's usually a pretty bad sign. Um, and then at the low point, uh, when Max pulled away and had a several minute lead on me, I uh, was just thinking, okay, I'm at you know 40, 40 miles or so into the race, and I was thinking that I'd, I'd made a lot of progress, but then I started thinking negative, and I was like, well, I still have 22 miles left. And you, you start thinking, wrapping your head around that, and you've already been out there for, you know, five hours or so, uh, actually six hours. And you're like, crap, I got over two hours left. And a lot of it's on some gnarly trail with, you know, some big hills. And, I mean, that's just, that was just kind of mind-blowing for me. And it was really hard not to get discouraged at that point because everything hurts I mean my back hurt I started running on the grass on the side of the road because it just because it felt better not because it was I knew it was going to be slower but um you know you're just you're in you're suffering out there um and that's just kind of part of the game you got to mentally work through it and not throw up try to keep in taking in calories and drinking uh coke never tasted so good so I'm um, looking forward to some more events. And, uh, you know, thanks for following the YouTube channel. I uh, appreciate all the subscribers and viewers. So uh, thank you very much for the support. And stay tuned for more VO2Max Productions. I guess during the race, in terms of nutrition... I've always just kind of taken things on the fly at the aid stations. I was lucky each aid station was about five miles apart on average. So grab a couple gels there, stuff them in my pockets. Uh, there'd be goo all over my hands and, you know, your hands are all slimy. You're trying to fill up your bottle with some Coke or Goo Brew or Gatorade or whatever they have. A couple times I grab some potato chips again like I did at White River. It's always hard to get those down because you're breathing pretty hard, but uh, you know you start craving a little salt after all the sweets. I know some guys take salt pills actually, and I've I have some, but I I don't like taking them during races, so I I just try to get off of what I could eat on the run and hopefully not throw up. Try to keep it down. Try not to choke on potato chips. You know whatever. Haven't really calculated the calories per hour, but it's probably in the vicinity of 300, I'd think. And I do like to drink Coke, so that's that's that.